everybody. Welcome back to Sincerely Legenia. Happy New Year. Today is Saturday, January the 1st, and I am in the kitchen this morning. The time is 1030, and I'm getting ready to get started with some breakfast. I got a busy day ahead of me. I plan on staying in the house the majority of the day, but I am going to be putting up all of my Christmas decor and doing a nice big clean. So I'm just going to vlog my day here today and uh, just bring you guys along with me as I get started on this beautiful Saturday of the new year. So right now I'm getting ready to get breakfast on. I'm going to get some bacon in the oven. Um, and I don't know what else I'm going to make. We'll just see what happens. maybe like four or five days ago, right after Christmas, and Angelina and I, um, well, we went in and picked up a few things. And I think I shared this in a video maybe a year or so ago. After Christmas, Hallmark has some amazing after Christmas sales. So you know how Hallmark is, can be a little bit pricey, but um, after Christmas, things are usually 50 to 60% off, and then it goes all the way down to 75% off. And I've gotten some really great um, Scentsy items and things from Hallmark. So let me show you what I got this year. This was at 50% off. I'm gonna go back probably tomorrow because Angelina and I are supposed to go out and do some things. So I may stop by there again tomorrow to see if things are 75% off. But the first thing I got was this potpourri. I love potpourri and because I'm getting ready to do my winter decor, I thought this would be great um, to put around the house as usual because I always have potpourri. But this fragrance right here is called The Smell of Winter. And you guys, it smells so good. I love these scents. And the thing about the Hallmark scents is they last really long. And the moment that they go out, you can get this oil. And I got some of the oil as well. Let me show you guys. I believe I showed this to you guys in another vlog too, uh, about a year or so ago. But whenever the smell goes out of the potpourri, you can get some of these refresher oils. And all you do is, you know, sprinkle some of this refresher oil on the potpourri and I toss a little bit, sprinkle a little bit more and it refreshes your potpourri with the exact same scent. So I got the refresher oil. Again, the name of this fragrance is The Smell of Winter and it is fabulous, you guys. So I got those two. I also picked up some waxy scents and this brand right here is called Aromatique 
And I've bought this before. I think I may still have some in my little Scentsy drawer that I keep over here, the formal dining room. But this one right here is uh, the smell of a tree and it's just that pine smell. And I love it and I love it all year round. It's really good at uh, like when I cook certain foods, when I fry or um, something like that and that or the smell of bacon is in your home. These are really good at getting rid of those odors. So I love the smells of pine and things like that. It gets rid of those odors really, really quickly. And um, so I, anyway, I got two of smell of trees and I'll let you guys see. That's the smell of trees. And then this one, uh, again, it's the smell of winter. Okay, I got two of those. And they, again, were 50% off. So at 50% off, these were like $3. Let me see what the, yeah, they're six fifty, so they were $3.25 each. I thought that was pretty good for that brand. These are really, really good brands. Um, oh, and this right here, they had one of these wall, these plug-ins, um, these plug-in fragrance warmers. I got this one also for, I think this one was 60% off. 60 or 50, but anyway, uh, the regular price is $12.99, so I got this for 50% off. Amazing, it was what, $6.50? Uh, amazing, and then guys, if you are not a part of Hallmark's reward points, uh, I would highly recommend that you just join up the next time you're at a Hallmark store, because after you get so many points, then you get, you're eligible to get a free card per month. And so I do that every month. I try to remember to stop in and pick up my free card. And there are always things like thinking of you cards, get well soon cards, you know, things like that. Um, things that I may need throughout the year, happy birthday cards. So I always go once a month and pick them up. I mean, it's January 1st right now. I already got my email to go and pick up my free card uh, for the month of January. So that's a good little something because if you guys have bought any uh, greedy cards anytime soon, they are like, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 dollars. And I kid you not, just go and pick up some cards. I know Dollar Tree sells cards as well, but I really love the selections at Hallmark so much better. And I love the quality of the cards at Hallmark too, so much better. Um, but you know, and then too, you can always go to Dollar Tree and pick up cards. I do hear that they have some wonderful cards. I have not bought any cards from Dollar Tree yet, but um, if you just want a free card, the next time you're in Hallmark, if you have not already signed up for their rewards points, go ahead and do so. I mean, you're there anyway, you might as well sign up and start getting a free card a month. All right guys, that is it for my Hallmark haul. So let me go ahead and share with you guys some of the things that I got for Christmas this year. All right, I told you guys I would share with you a few of the items that I got for the holiday season, a few of my blessings because that's exactly what they are. The first one is this KitchenAid Professional 5 Plus Stand Mixer. You guys, I am so happy about this. I actually have a funny story to go along with this that I'll share with you guys before I end this video today. But I got this mixer and of course it comes with uh, three of the attachments. I think all of them come with three attachments. Um, but I got this, uh, the paddle attachment here. I've already used this mixer twice. I love it. You guys know I'm not a baker, but I'm gonna bake some stuff now. I mean, I got a mixer, it's beautiful, I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna be baking some stuff. And then it comes with this whisk attachment as well and it comes with this dough attachment i know this is for dough i don't know if it's called a dough attachment or what but um i'm gonna learn i'm gonna learn how to use this bad boy and i'm gonna be making some stuff i don't know why i'm gonna make something okay <laughs> but anyway i love it my husband got this for me and i am just so excited um i love it as you guys see, I'm gonna be doing some rearranging in my kitchen here. As you guys see, this right here is all clear, this countertop. And if you know my kitchen, you know I usually have three large glass canisters here. I have removed those. It's just taking up too much space on my countertops. And I was gonna do that anyway, but me getting the stand mixer just made me go ahead and move a little bit faster to get rid of those. And I'm gonna be completely rearranging my pantry, you guys. My pantry looks a mess. and. Uh, if you Again, if you know my channel, you know some videos back, maybe a year or so ago, I cleaned out my pantry and I rearranged it and organized it. It was great. Well, it's a mess again. I'm not going to even show you right now, but when you see it, it is a mess. But um, anyway, I cleared this space right here. So my flour, I had flour, rice, and sugar in those canisters. I'm going to be moving those to the pantry and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm going to do, hopefully in a video here within the next couple of weeks as I rearrange my pantry. But good to have clear counter space i love it and definitely had to make room for my new kitchen aid stand mixer i love it guys 
I also purchased these casual tennis shoes for me. I thought they were really neat. They're really comfortable, great shoes to wear to the mall or to the store, or just somewhere where you're going somewhere and you want to be comfortable. Um, I got a few pairs of workout clothes. Um, I'm always wanting new workout clothes, so my husband also got me those. He also purchased this bottle of Versace perfume. You guys, this stuff smells so good. I was thoroughly, thoroughly surprised when I opened the package. Number one, and saw that it was Versace. And number two, I was very surprised at how wonderful it smelled. You guys, I love bold fragrances, but I also love a little bit of sweetness. And this one right here is a combination of both, a little bold and a little sweet. It's now my new favorite. I absolutely love it. Hope you guys smell it when, whenever you get a chance. He also purchased some of my favorite Bath & Body Works. The Delia right now is one of my favorites. I love this fragrance. You guys should try it. And then my son in the gospel, Wilton, purchased another one of my new favorites, Pure Wonder. Also, I got this beautiful ember mug from my youngest daughter, Angelina. She got this for me for Christmas and I am so in love with it. And the funny thing is, is I had seen this mug so many times this past year on social media and various social platforms, Instagram uh, commercials, YouTube commercials. And I went online to get me one of these mugs. I saw the price of it and I'm like, no, I refuse to spend that much money on a mug. But Angelina got it for me. Isn't God awesome? You know, the word says that he gives you the desires of your heart. And this was definitely something that I wanted. And I am so glad to have it. What's so special about this mug, you guys, is that it is a temperature control mug. And I can regulate and control the temperature from an app on my phone. It is amazing. So as you guys know, I love my coffees. I love my teas. Right now I'm getting ready to have me a cup of tea. So let me show you guys exactly how this works. So I've got my tea in here. I've got my squeeze of lemon and I've got me a couple of shakes of monk fruit sweetener in here. So I'm going to pour in. And of course I'm gonna dunk it here. Give it a mix. Make sure that lemon and monk fruit is incorporated really well, but always dunk. Make sure you dunk it and make sure it helps to open up those flavors or something like that. Dunking is really important. Um, so let me show you guys how this works on my app. Now, number one, it is plugged up, okay? This is the base of the mug. And as long as my mug is on this base, it's going to always stay charged. And the thing about this is, is when I remove it from the base, it will remain charged and it can keep and it will continue heating my beverage for up to an hour and a half without being on the base. As long as it's on the base, it's going to continue to stay heated. So let me go over to the app and show you all exactly how this works in conjunction with the app. First things first, open up the app and I already have the app programmed to my uh, device and it let me know immediately what the temperature is of the beverage that's inside of the container. It's at 159 degrees right now. So I've already preset my detox tea and my morning coffee with the app. So I have my detox tea set at 145 degrees, my morning coffee set at 145 as well. And um this thing is really neat, guys, because also you can, uh, when you need to steep your teas, as you see right there, you hit the timer and it will time, uh, do a countdown for the amount of time that you need to steep your teas. There are also recipes in here, and I'm going to be trying this honey lemon ginger, you guys. Doesn't that look amazing? Doesn't that sound great? Ginger and lemon juice and honey sounds really good. But anyway, this is how it works. I love this app. I can control the temperature anytime I want it to go down. I can just uh, turn the temperature down. I can turn it off if I'm downstairs and my beverage is upstairs or vice versa. I can just get on my app and turn it off. Uh, it is amazing. I love it. And yeah, you guys, uh, of course, I am not sponsored by Ember at all. This is just something that I wanted and it was gifted to me. And I love it. Okay, everybody. So I'm getting ready to <clears throat> close out this vlog for Christmas. My oldest daughter, she built me an entirely new website and you all will be seeing that. Um, well, when you click on the link below, it should be up and going maybe tomorrow or the day after. But she, uh, that was my gift, so I didn't have to go out and hire someone to do that. She built me a completely new and different website for my Keto Spice Blend, so I'm so excited about that. It looks amazing. And so she revealed that new website to me on Christmas Day absolutely amazing she did a wonderful job and um of course i received money and things like that from relatives my, one of my brothers who's an herbalist he's making me some um 
more sea moss. So if you guys, um, if, we'll go get into the whole sea moss thing, maybe a little bit later on this month. Um, but he's an herbalist and he makes that. So he's got me a big jar of that. Well, actually, it's going to be like birthday and Christmas together. Uh, tomorrow is, you guys, my birthday. And I am so excited. I will be the big four or five. God is awesome. I'm so glad that uh, he has blessed me to be able to make it this far. So I'll be cel celebrating my birthday tomorrow, January the 3rd. Um, so you guys, if you're not following me over on Instagram, go over on Instagram and give me a follow. I would love to have you guys join me over there. I share a little bit more about my personal life over there uh, in my Instagram stories and things. And then we can connect and chat like on a regular basis. So join me over there on Instagram if you're not already doing it. You guys, it is my prayer that you and your family have a blessed and prosperous year in 2022. I believe that God is going to be doing some amazing things in the lives of his people. Um, I have vowed that I am going to, I want to, um, I want to be more dedicated to my faith walk. There's so much more that God has in store for me and that God wants me to do. So that is my resolution is to uh, get back on my job and continue doing the things that God has given me to do. I've kind of slacked on that. So uh, those are some of the things I'm going to be doing. Definitely going to be exercising more uh, this past year. I didn't exercise as much as I had been in the past. So I'm going to be doing that and so many other things. I'm going to be changing some things here on my channel. It's going to be more lifestyle. It's not going to just be strictly keto and cooking, but it's going to be so, so much more than just that. So I'm going to be changing those things up as well. So you'll be seeing some changes. But again, you guys, it is my prayer that you and your family have a blessed and a prosperous new year. And I cannot wait to share this upcoming year with you guys, all of my friends. Take care and I'll talk to you in tomorrow's video. Bye.